I'm back, everybody, and here's my basket of letters. I can't wait to show them to you, but first, let's take the letter L down because we don't need it right now. We'll put it in the basket with all these other letters. Oh, P U. Oh, wait a minute. P U. What is that smell? Do you smell that? I smell something. Skunk! Why didn't you tell me that that was just the skunk puppet and Miss Pauline was playing a trick on me? That Miss Pauline. Let me put my librarian bun back in my hair and let's talk about some more letters. All right, we don't need the P. And we don't need the U. Let's see what other letters we have in here. Do you know what letter this is? Q. And do you know the Q has a best friend that the Q always likes to play with? Whenever we see a Q, we almost always see a U. Right with it. Q, U are best friends, even though they're not next to each other in the alphabet. Do you think letters that are next to each other in the alphabet are best friends? Let's find out. N. O. And what does that spell? No. Letters next to each other in the alphabet are not always best friends. That's just the truth. All right, let's see what else we have in here. Oh, we have two of these letters. What letter is this? O. A lot of times when two O's are next to each other when we're reading, it makes us sound like this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I like to think of owls. You know owls make a noise like, hoo, hoo. And I think O's kind of look like owl eyes, don't they? Hoo, 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 hoo. That's how I remember when I see two O's together that they make a sound like, hoo, hoo. Let's see what's next. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. I have an idea. Ahoy, mateys. Mr. Steve spelled the word pirate on the board. P-I-R-A-T-E. And then he asked me, a real pirate, to come on in to tell you a pirate joke about letters. Are you ready to hear it? Okay. What's the pirate's favorite letter? Do you know? I bet some of you probably think it's this letter. R! And that's a good guess. But you'd be wrong. Walk the plank! The pirate's first love was the C. So if you thought the letter C was the pirate's favorite letter, you'd be wrong. Walk the plank! The pirate's favorite letter is right here. It's the letter P, because without it, pirates are just irate. But even though I'm a grown-up, I like lollipops more than I like capers. In fact, I've loved lollipops since I was your age. There was a commercial back then talking about lollipops. Yeah, I want to show it to you. Watch this commercial. Mr. Turtle, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? Why, he never made it without biting. Ask Mr. Owl. Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? Let's find out. One, two, three, three. How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? The world may never know. Wasn't that such a funny commercial? But it made me wonder back then. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? A Tootsie Pop is a kind of lollipop, and I have a Tootsie Pop right here. And I thought since today's letter was L, and we were going to be reading a story about lollipops, and the word lick starts with L, why wouldn't today be a great day to learn, that starts the letter L, learn how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? So let's find out. Mr. Owl said the world may never know, but you're going to know and I'm going to know. 
I'll show you what a Tootsie Pop looks like first. See the Tootsie Pop? It looks just like that. So it looks like a regular lollipop. But inside, I don't know if you can see, there's some brown, and that's the Tootsie Roll part. That's the part we're gonna try to lick to. So I'm gonna keep licking until I reach that part. Are you ready? We're gonna have to count how many licks it takes. But you know, to be ready for this, I have my water. It's important to take sips of water in between licking a lollipop. And I also have a napkin just in case I get any of the candy on me, or if I drool. That sometimes happens when you lick a lollipop. And we're gonna find out how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. All right, everybody, you can count with me. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh, that's twenty. That's what it looks like so far. It looks like we have a long way to go. I'm gonna have to do this even faster. That's 87. Looks like I have a lot more licking to do. That is 193. See what it looks like? Can you see the brown? I think we're getting closer. I need a break. I didn't realize how hard it would be to lick the lollipop that many times. I think we're on number 294. It's a lot of licking. Let's see. We're getting close though. Do you see it? We're getting closer. I think in order to make the time pass by a little faster, maybe I'll do a little dancing. Yeah, I want to do some dancing while I lick. This is really hard work. I forgot to say, don't try this at home unless a grown-up says it's okay and they're with you. Because that's a lot of counting. I think we're up to 397. And you can look to see the lollipop. See, it's not the same shape on either side because on this side that I've been licking, it's getting really close to the Tootsie Pop. But this is taking so long. I'm gonna keep on licking until we get there now. We got there. Yes. Woo. The Mr. Owl said we may never know, but we know how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. I forgot to keep count. I was getting so involved in licking the lollipop that I forgot to keep counting. Did you count? Tell me, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Oh, the world may never know. Oh. I can't believe it. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time for the letter M. Bye.